All right, so I recently made a video about Titus O'Neil getting suspended from WWE. In the main, one of the main arguments I heard out there in the in the YWC was, "Oh, it's racism! It's racist!" And I'm just getting so sick of of black people, in particular, getting mad at white people, thinking that everything is racist. That that white people are like out to get black people, and and black people are in the position they're in right now because white people keep you know, committing racism against them. So, because I said that, and then I said that it's usually the black people who are the ones that are unjustifiably crying racism, I actually decided, you know, and then I also talked about how the black community is way worse than the white community in terms of crime, murder, etc. I mean, can we just face the facts? See, if you, if you go out and say that, Black people are in poverty. They murder more. There's a big problem in the back black community right now. If you say that, you're you're called racist. But no, guys, we gotta face the facts. So I got a bunch of facts here. Yeah, facts here to to present you. Going old school, kind of. I used to do this a lot. I would print out articles and show them to you guys. But I'm gonna do that right now. So the first one I want to talk about here is black crime in particular here. We got an article from Breitbart saying that in 2012, okay, white males made up 38% of the population and they committed 4,582 murders. Black males made up 6.6% .6 of the population but committed uh, 5,531 murders. So there you go, people. Clearly, that, that, that that's a problem. Um, and then between 1980 and 2008, despite only making up 13% of the population, blacks committed 52% of homicides. I mean, that's a big problem. You, see, you never see Black Lives Matter talking about that. You never see Black Lives Matter talking about their own people who are the ones killing people. Oh, they're focused on cops, which uh, I actually got a stat here. It would take cops 40 years to kill uh, the amount of people that are killed in one year alone by black on black crime. I believe that's what it says. Yeah, on the hands to kill on the hands of it. It, it kind of fucking, when I was printing out the article, it kind of fucked it up. But yeah, that's what it says. It would take cops 40 years to kill the amount of black men who were killed by other black men in 2012. So you see, you always see black lives men are making a huge deal out of, um, you know, cops killing, uh, Blacks, and that's that, that's an issue. That definitely is an issue. The militarization of the police is an issue, but it's not just black people who are unjustifiably getting killed. It's, it's white people. So why are we saying Black Lives Matter? Don't all lives matter? I I, I mean that's you know if somebody came out and said White Lives Matter, that they, they would get so racist. And I'll get to that point later in this video. Um, oh, and then also in 2013. Blacks committed 38% of the murders, whites 31%. So you see there, even though blacks make up a smaller percentage of the population, way smaller percentage percentage than whites, they're committing more murders than white people. All right. And then we got welfare statistics right here. You know, the whole idea the liberals want is to, when, 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 to, to put people on welfare, which does nothing. It doesn't do shit in most scenarios because it doesn't, encourage people to go out and actually get a job for themselves when they could just leech off a of government and, and, and make welfare and get food stamps. They're dependent on government then. It's called socialism. And black Americans make up 32% of, of, of welfare recipients even though they comprise a mere 12% of the U.S. population. So there you go. You got, you got blacks in poverty, they're living in the ghettos, they're living in the slums, and they're collecting their welfare checks. So there you go. Which, again, does not encourage hard work. It, it encourages them, oh, you could smoke your weed, you could smoke your dope, you could sit on your couch all day and do nothing. And at the same time, you could collect your welfare check. There you go. You know, you could, you could go out there and commit crimes, you know, and do all this horrible shit. You don't have to work at all, and you just can collect your welfare check when the day's over. Oh, and this is also what I want to talk about. Again, you always hear Black Lives Matter talking about the cops. You don't hear them talking about the 4.4 million black babies murdered since 1990. Yeah, that's right, people. 4.4 million, which is 11% of the U.S. black population right now. 
Never will hear that being talked about. It's about 200,000 black babies murdered per year since 1990. It's thankfully gone down a little bit since then, but I mean, we've still got a ways to go. I mean, that's that's the number one issue, and probably in my opinion, because you see these numbers. Look at those numbers, people. 200,000 plus in, in some years. It's horrible. It's horrible. You you rarely hear anybody talk about that in the black community. It's always, oh, the whites are racist. You know, a white, you know, the cops are racist. You know, fuck the police, kill the police. Never anything about abortions. Oh, and this, this is another problem, too. Latest statistics on out-of-wedlock births. In, among non-Hispanic blacks, the figure is highest at 72.2%. 72.2% are born uh, out-of-wedlock. That, again, is a problem. Now, I don't have any problem with, you know, oh, you know, you're, you're, you're a... You're extreme right wing. You want people to get married before they have sex or children, whatever. No, no, no. But typically, when when a couple isn't married and they have a child, the dad is probably more apt to run away. Um, you know, because he doesn't. You know, once you get married, you typically have a stronger relationship with that person than if you're not. So the the father is probably more likely to run away. And that relationship is probably not going to be as strong as it is on average if it was married. So that shows you right there the, the, the environment black people are coming up in is not, not uh, enough. It's not, it's not good uh, enough to raise you know, a, a, good, a good child. It, it should be stronger. They should, they should have a strong family to raise good children, you know, to raise good children. All right. Uh, okay, and then I want to talk. This last article here is kind of the argument from the Huffington Compost talking about how, how you know, I'm just going to read it to you. So it says here in America, whites commit the, the majority of crimes. What's even more troubling is that they also are responsible for a vast majority of violent crimes, which again isn't true. I just showed you this, the DOJ statistics. But they go on to say, oh, they're highest in assault, larceny, theft, arson, weapons carrying, and vandalism. Uh, and then they go talk about sexual blah, 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 blah. So they're saying, oh, whites are highest. Even that's even if that's the case, again, blacks make up way less of the percentage of the, of the population than uh, blacks, or, you know, whites make up, a, are, there's more whites than black people. So to say that is not fucking fair. It's not even close. You can't just go, oh, Whites kill more people than blacks. Doesn't matter. You gotta look at the percentage. If you look at the percentage, blacks are numerous times higher than white people. Oh, and I got one more article. Oh yeah. And if you don't think black people are racist, oh, it just so happens the only you know president that they vote for is this guy. Oh, what color is he? Black. Black. Ninety percent of blacks voted for Obama. Yeah, you think that's racist? You think that you know he's. How many people do you think voted for him just because he's um, black? So there you go. And I also got some other shit. You know, and again, this is another argument from the people who are opposed to me. MTV came out and said reverse racism isn't a thing. So yeah, there you go. If, um, you know, black, basically that means black people can't be racist. So MTV, one of the, one of the most popular channels probably on uh, TV, it's maybe not one of the most, but a decently popular channel saying reverse racism isn't uh, a thing. Black people can't be racist. And all these links are in the, in the description too if you want to check them out. Oh, and then you got TV ch channels like the BET. And then you got like blackpeoplemeet.com. But so black people can assimilate in their groups. But if you have a white, whitepeoplemeet.com, a white channel, no, 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 that, that's racist. You see there, that's another contradictory statement. The N-word, too, is another thing. Oh, blacks can only use the N-word. You know, when a white person uses the N-word, oh, it's racist. Like Hulk Hogan. Um, and then I want to talk about the solutions. Change. I'm bringing up these points not because I'm racist, not because I'm putting black people down, but because, because I want to help black people out there. I want to promote good values. And even though not many people will watch this video, I want to talk about the issues that are at hand here. 
the, pro the, the fact of the matter is we have a huge fucking problem right now in the black community filled with, you know, as I said, drugs, murder, crime, gangs, and a lot more issues, you know, lack of education, lack of the family. But change has to come from within in the black community. There has to be black people standing up for good issues, not this bullshit of, oh, black lives matter, fuck the police. That's not how we solve the problem. The problem has to be solved by people saying, well, it's not good to smoke weed. Uh, it's not good to wear your pants down to, to, uh, below your ass. It's not good to murder people. It's not good to rape people. It's not good to do all these horrible things. And then also, we got to get people off of welfare. All right? get, it's, that way, people will actually have motivation to go out and get a job and work instead of leeching off of government dependence. And then as a, as a whole nation, not just the black people, but as, as a whole nation, we got to come together and just promote good values. Like, I see on TV all the time. You know, they're, they're glorifying murder, or they're glorifying rape, or they're glorifying some horrible act. Like, I saw the, saw the show, uh, I forget what the name was, but the theme song was Tainted Love to the show. And they were showing, you know, it was about this couple who goes around and, like, tortures old dying people. And they're, like, glorifying it as this great thing. It's like, what the fuck? So, we got to stop that. And, I mean, that, that, that's how you begin to solve this problem. Not by more government programs. Not by increasing welfare. Not by food stamps. Not by affirmative action. Not by any of those. Because those don't encourage motivation we have to say enough with the welfare enough with the government dependence let's change but let's change the black community let, let's start going again let's get the, the blacks going again let's let, let's uplift them let's create a better society for us all i mean i go down i i, I live right by detroit and you know whenever you go down there you got to be looking out I mean, it's it's crazy, you know. In the actual downtown, it's fine, but like if you're, you know, going into downtown, it's like holy shit! It's some of the worst areas in America. It's awful. And I I work landscaping in the summer, and I caught one of the places we work at. It's on like the outskirts of Detroit. It's not a horrible area, but there's a lot of black people and a lot of criminals and a lot of people who. You can just tell aren't, you know, they're up to trouble. And, oh, look at that. The only place we got stuff stolen this year was that place in Detroit. So, again, we have a problem with black people committing crimes. And we have a problem with the black community just falling apart. Education, crime, murder, as I said. And we got to fix it. Got to promote good things. And, we, we, again, we got to stop with this... Uh, you know, government dependence and all this bullshit that talks about, oh, white people are racist, that's why you're failing white people, it's because of the white people, and it's because of the rich people. See, that that's used to distract people from the, the actual uh, things that are actually hurting the black people, like, you know, abortion, like I said, and these TV shows that promote bad things, and, and, and yeah, so we got to focus on the real issues that are actually affecting the black people and everybody in general. As opposed to bullshit like Black Lives Matter. So there you go people. I hope you learned some new things. Or I hope that you enjoyed this this video. And I hope you learned that I'm again not racist. Just pointing out the facts that are problems within the black community. And I hope to, to see people you know, kind of pick up this rhetoric that I'm talking about. That we need to change. That we need to admit we have a problem. So there you go people. That's, uh, that's all I got to say about that issue.